Hi guys. Um, <laughs> fatal mistake. <laughs> I was watching the playback <laughs> for my cuter switch. <laughs> so you had this black screen at the end of the advert. <laughs> That's why I'm not in production anymore. <laughs> oh God. Right. Um, Okay, so I don't know how many people are going to join tonight. I got, I got no idea. So um, I'm, I'm going to give it a couple of minutes, but I, I'm going to. Um, so um, tonight is basically well. There's a video I've got to show you, um, and then we'll talk about it. And you can ask me any questions you like, and the usual, usual malarkey. You can stay on topic. You can go off topic. Give you advice on buying a new car, whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, but I want you to watch this first one because I think it's quite important. Um, yes, hello mate. <laughs> uh, if you're wondering why my I'm out of focus, well, why do you want me in focus? It's that lot that you want in focus. Um, so you know, and also it gets rid of the you know the, some of the wrinkles as someone said before. But there you go. Right, so um, <laughs> cars are boring. Um, right, so let's, uh, we got, we got a 17, um, uh, let me just give you, before, before we go into the video, uh, it's, you probably know it's been two, about three, three weeks since I did a live stream, and so it probably seemed like I went quiet, but as you probably know, I went to see Neil, I'll talk about it after, but, um, well, in fact, I'll talk about it in the video, so I don't need to, um, but, um, yeah, so my, my I, I needed a couple of weeks to just process everything and decide what I'm doing going forward. And if anything, it's been a good thing, um, So as you'll see in the video. Right, so there's a few people watching, um, and they've had three or four minutes, so I'm going to start this off. Now, the first, you can't jump forward, right? If you've already seen this video, you might want to go to the cafe or go to the pub for half an hour and come back and moan about it. Uh, if you want to ask some questions while it's going on then that's cool um but i'll obviously be here um otherwise uh watch the video at the it's basically an introduction to an eight minute section <clears throat> where i'm showing you the difference we're showing you two crts and my monitor not to say mine's better than a crt not at all because uh, it's not a crt replacement it's really got up to here in it it's not a crt it's something different, right? It just so happens I want people to be able to use their old machines, consoles, and get a reasonable experience, okay? And that's literally what it is. Uh, so, um, yeah, watch the video, uh, and ask me questions during it. I've got the questions up here, and um, I'll come back to you, I'll come back to you afterwards, okay? Hi everyone. Um, right, so um, I've been quiet for a couple of weeks uh, since the OLL 2022 show and lots of people ask me when I'm going to launch the Kickstarter. So um, I want to explain there's some changes going to take place. Um, now, why are the changes being taken place? So basically, um, I thought I was at a place where I could release a product uh, I released the Kickstart, and then while the Kickstarter, uh, while I was going along doing the designs, and we could do testing and that kind of thing, um, you know, and get tweaks to the firmware, etc. Uh, it's become clear uh, that that was not a good strategy. So, um, the reason for that is, as some of you may or may not have been aware, uh, I took the monitors to uh, to uh, Neil at RMC um, he was going to do his usual fantastic support us with the project um, and uh, do a review and an explanation and an interview um, sadly he now he's been absolutely wonderful and he's a seriously classy guy um, he's also really I love honesty trust me I really love honesty and he, he basically, at the, 
after a couple of days, he decided it, it, he wasn't happy to do a review that may be negative. Now, um, obviously that took me aback because I'd just been at the OLL show and um, hundreds of people saw the monitors and, and loved it. Um, but I think this is down to me. I think this is my, my responsibility. Uh, I think the problem is that I've kind of gone into this in the mindset of um, like a case. Let's make it do as much as it can um, and try it so that you've got this monitor. Obviously the main thing about the, the product is the case itself, a massive, but half the value of the project or the, the value of the, the product, which again I'm not releasing the price yet, uh, is in the case itself. Nothing to do with the panels, the controls. So, I don't think I communicated that very well. Um, and so I've stepped back. Now, the one thing that I think people have been of the opinion is, I'm not sure about Neil on this. Again, as I said, uh, he did some tests and he was having a few things he was unhappy with. Um, and so uh, I'm looking into these, these issues. Um, and uh, but my concern is that it was this it was this is the bit that I have not communicated well it is not never has been never will be a CRT replacement period I'll get I'm gonna get sh hung from the ceiling of saying this but this is the CRT okay um, but don't run off yet because I've got something to for you to see after I've shut up. So basically what I'm doing is I'm, I'm going to join board and I am doing more. My, my thing was I wanted to put as many connections as possible. But one thing it has thrown up, interestingly, which you're not going to see today, but one of the things, I bought the, I'll give an example. I bought the, um, one of the uh, pieces of retro kit I bought is the Dreamcast. And you're going to see a demonstration of that after I finished talking. And um, in uh, in 50 Hertz composite, uh, which you're gonna see, okay? Looks great, I mean. <laughs> um, but one thing I noticed, it, um, when it was in 60 Hertz on composite, or if it was on VGA in 60 Hertz composite, for some reason, our, the controller board that I picked at the moment for this stage has a problem with scaling. And I've actually nailed this down to being, when it's run at 60 hertz, it seems to make it tall. Um, and, you know, I'm now talking to the firmware people, you know, because I, I, the, the firmware, they will customise for me. But this I'd not um, spotted. And so that was a, an issue. Now, the other thing comes into the, the, the image. Now, my, my personal feeling is, and I'm doing this video so you can get a feel for it, uh, that this panel is it's not a cheap panel, um, but it's a good quality uh, panel. Um, the only thing at the moment is, and again, you're going to see this, it, it's going to become obvious. It's very hard to get, uh, everyone wants zero second, second lag, which these are zero second because of the way they work. You know, it's nothing special, it's just the way they work. Um, the image comes in, it's fired up on by photons onto the onto the front. Whereas with modern panels, they have to go through computer circuitry, etc., etc., and you get a delay. Now, I've been trying for ages to get a lag tester, and I, I finally managed to track one down. Uh, they weren't in stock before, but I ma managed to get one. It's an HDMI one, so it's not perfect, but at least it gives me uh, something to go on. So the actual lag, for the I've already put pictures, but I'll probably display a picture to, to give you this. Um, this is, I originally showed 18.8 milliseconds. Now that's from when the picture starts, hits the top of the display, okay? Forget the bit drawing down because that's the same on pretty much all displays, how fast it's gonna draw. But the actual bit when it hits the top of the display is the crucial bit. And, and uh, I hadn't, when I did the last picture, 18.8, I mean, I'm really talking about milli, proper milliseconds. But I did another test yesterday and I put it, when I put it right to the very top, I was 17.8, I think. So this, the lag on this, and I will include a picture of this, but 
the the lag between the picture disappearing from the uh, the the generator, the computer, the games machine, whatever, to being displayed, starting to be displayed, is seventeen point eight seconds. It's milliseconds, not eight seconds. Where are these are zero, okay. Um, and so, of course, it's always good on these. The trouble is you can't buy CRTs. And apparently, I think there may be a company that's apparently doing them. Um, but, you know, you, most people have panels. Now, it, when you get into the areas of this, now, to, for example, you can't see it out of shot here. I've got a Philips 16 by 9. And so a lot of people, oh, but, but panels can do, like my, that one will do 1.7 milliseconds, which is incredible, because I've been going around tests and everything. My TV downstairs is 65 milliseconds, which you can actually feel, which is why I won't play a game on it. But this one's 1 1.7, which is like almost CRT performance. The problem is, the whole point of this project is to make a 4.3 slash 5.4 aspect ratio display, panel display, um, in a case that is sympathetic to our old machines. And so it looks looks good with them and that that is the because otherwise you can just go out and buy any monitor you like if you want low lag this you know as i said i paid about 120 quid for for this phillips uh, and it's at 1.9 milliseconds so if that's what you want by all means go off and get it and i'll even give you the link if you want it um but of course this one has a 17.8 millisecond uh, lag on it and and so that's, to me, I hadn't even noticed it to be as I pressed the button and jumped. But you are going to notice this, as I said, as soon as I shut up, there's a recording I've made of this. Uh, all through. So basically going from the Dreamcast to this, to this setup so you can see it. And you'll see these two displays fire off quicker than that one, even though the cable routing, the composite, it's all composite that bit. In fact, this is composite as well. It's the only way I can actually display this. So... The composite's going in from my Mega 1200, as you can see it's on here. Uh, that goes into here. It's nice and stable, isn't it? What do you think? Uh, that's because it's got circuitry on board and it stabilises the signal. So you could actually, you, if I'd had this back in the day, I'd have been over the moon because this is what I used to deal with, right? Because I, I didn't play games back in the day. And I, the, I play games now to, to entertain my children. So, um, but you can see that uh, this is what I had to deal with in the old days, which is why I always wanted, I was dreamed of something like that. Anyway, beside the point. Um, now, the other thing was, oh, uh, let's get the routine. So it goes into here, composite, and then from there I have an output on the board, which goes into my Sony PVM, um, which then has an output, which then goes into this. Um, it's not processed, it's straight through, and you can tell that, because these fire before that does, Okay. So um, that's why this is set up this way. And what it means is, now for, for general usage, I mean, if you put RGB, which will work on this monitor, uh, it will work on both of these, but I can't daisy chain them, so you can't see the difference. But uh, obviously it looks sharper. Um, there's no doubt about that. But um, uh, so composite, I mean, I think that's almost, to be honest, I think that's pretty much usable, um, which I think is fine. Anyway, so if you're doing this kind of, uh, work you wouldn't want you you don't want CRTs what you want is something like this okay or you want an RTG system or you want to run it at 1024 or you want to run it at 1280 by 1024 that that kind of thing you, we've moved on from these graphics for, for actual productivity work but if you want to run a demo this is where I may have to reduce the volume because the speakers are quite loud on the monitor um, Make sure you can see this. Actually, the Sony's a little bit on the. Let me just turn the Sony up a bit. There you go. Turn this up a bit. Ah, the, uh, this adjustment is purely because um, it's the camera that's recording. As I've said, I'm recording at 50 frames per second, so um, this uh, these look okay. You might get the odd line that rises very slowly up. Let me just get this right. Turn up a little bit. Here we go. So as you can see, they they work fine. Um, the the composite processing 
inside the controller board does I think a pretty good job and it, it, it so most things that you're going to plug in the one thing as I said if you plug in a 60 hertz signal it seems to scale it vertically which was a problem which I've spotted since I got that and I couldn't figure out what it was and having that means that we've now got it we've actually I know what it is so we can get it fixed uh, let's turn down the brightness a little bit it's a little bit burning out It's very hard to get this right for the camera. But as you can see, so you know, back in the day I would have loved the CRTs are actually fantastic for, for gaming because they're non-interlaced, that's the key phrase. They're non-interlaced signals, so 240p to 288p. Um, and they look absolutely wonderful and they are, they give a nice warm colour and there's a, there's a lot of charm in CRTs, okay? And I understand people's fondness, I, I totally do. Um, and for a lot of people, they like the idea of uh, scaling down to 240p modern games, which again, it gives it that look if you like that kind of thing. Um, but what I'm trying to do is give it so that you can just plug those consoles into the monitor with, with uh, connections that are not available on monitors these days. Uh, and that's, that's the concept, the, the aim. Right, so you can see that. Um, Anyway, so that's, that's that. So you can see they both look pretty good. This is obviously just slightly behind 17.8 milliseconds, to be honest. Right, let's kill that. Okay, let me just make sure you can still see them. Yeah. Right, so what uh, you're about to see in a second uh, is the same thing, but going coming from the Dreamcast, and it's running a game of uh, Book of a Little Boy, uh, Sonic Adventure, the original one, because the new one, for some reason, is about 50, 60 quid. Um, so <laughs> it was just for, for testing um, but you can see that and, see, and, and I've got the try to match the settings across the lot of them I actually set it up so that it was a little bit but it was too dark I had to try it so there is a there is a difference the only real difference I can see personally is you'll notice the color on these two it's and it's probably a profile thing from from the panel but it's and I don't know if it's a slightly greener um, but it's 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 a it's a slightly warmer. You, you'll see. Make your own mind up. Anyway, um, I tried pushing the green and changing the profile, but um, but couldn't quite get there. But uh, I'm sure there's changes we could probably do. But th that's because you've got these sitting here. Now, bear in mind this is a 30 year old monitor, so this is a little bit faded nowadays. The sharp obviously is fantastic. Still looks good. So, um, but if you when you come to comparing the um, the quality, I suggest you compare. The, the you compared my panel to the Sony because it's still in really good condition um, and the colors look really everything looks really nice on that that's why I actually had it the other way around and I've moved this um, the this one's as I said this has been used a lot um, and, and so she's a bit old and a little bit but it still looks nice um, but as I said uh, looks, looks great in like 240p 288p um, Right, so um, yeah, in on the twelfth of May, and oh, I'm going to put the dates on the screen. I've got two. The reason for doing this is so you can see in public and make your own mind up, and then share your experience. So I, I'm taking it to the Greenford Computer Club, twelfth of May in the evening, about seven thirty. He's going to take this set up along. You can bring your own along. And we'll plug yours in and then I'll make notes of where we've got problems. And if it's something I need to address, then what I'll do is I'll go and buy one. Um, but uh, then, then it's, I suppose let's talk about the Kickstarter. Yes, the Kickstarter is postponed. No, it's not stopped. Um, but it is it is postponed because I want to be, uh, I want to make sure that um, people are aware. So we're going to do a chart. So with a, like a video sample. So like you've seen that. The, sorry, what like you're gonna see in a minute, um, gonna do so that whatever console, as we get the consoles for testing, we'll do this setup and record it um, in like this controlled fashion, um, and so you can see what you're gonna get and what the difference is gonna be. Uh, I think that's really important. Um, I can't do that for every single console and every single computer out there. Um, there is a hell of a lot of. Uh, uh, connectivity on the back but that is optional now it's very also very important to understand the basic machine comes with VGA HDMI composite a couple of composites which you're going to see today composites and component the component is as I said before limited it's only interlace so you can't play games on it um, but that's where the, the upgrades come in um, 
Now, the other thing is what I'm going to probably change now is the way I explain this to people. In the, um, it's going to probably change to being, I'm selling you the, and this might sound stupid to some people, but not to others. I'm going to sell it so that the Kickstarter is going to be for the case. All right, um, and the modularity and everything about that, and then once the Kickstarter is is, is complete, then you will pick what panel you want to put, what panel you want either us to put in or what you're going to put in. And then one of the reasons, but some people have asked me, can I supply the case so they can put their own panel in? Um, which yeah, this is what made me give me the idea. And the other thing is, it takes the onus off. So people understand that the panel is such a small part of cost, especially if you put a Jeep panel in. Um, but uh, so that's how the Kickstarter is more than likely going to be be pushed now, so that people understand that what you're paying for is the case, the look, the modularity, the expandability. Okay, and then you choose: do you want the 17-inch? Do you want my choice of 17-inch panel? Do you want my choice of 19-inch panel? Um, and also there is one potential 4.3 panel that is that has a 5 millisecond res, uh, lag, lag time. Oh, it's response time, technically. So I'm trying to get hold of one, and there's only one. I mean, uh, there's, there's thousands of panels. It probably is thousands of panels, actually, there is. Um, but finding one, finding 4.3 slash 5.4 um, panels uh, is that I've only found one, and I, I have a. I go to a site, and I'll probably put a link in it, so you can go and play yourself, um, and you'll see there's only one. It's a 17 inch, uh, 12 eighths, 10 24, which is 5 4. Um, it's got five millisecond response time. I believe that may be gray to gray, but we'll see. Hence, I'm trying to get one, and that may be an option. I my concern is that one of the great things about this panel is because it's IPS. You have very, if I stand over here, you get a fantastic view. It doesn't change, it's just really good quality. Whereas on this other panel, the angle viewing is not as good. Um, and I need to check the, the dot pitch and the quality of the pixels. But if that's what people want, if they, if they want the very low latency, then I think that will probably halve the latency. But you're never going to get down to like this, this panel here. Uh, which is 1.7 because they don't make them. Oh, if you know where they are, I'm all ears. Trust me, because I'm looking everywhere for them. But the reality is, have to work with the 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 panels and controllers that you can buy um, if you're going to do this kind of thing. Like any other manufacturer, you can only build to what you can get hold of. Um, I'm seeing a specialist next week special panel maker that uh, we, we're, we're looking into. Now this is from a discussion that I had with uh, Neil and Richard, his colleague from Heba. Um, and they've been absolutely fantastic. Um, even though he didn't want to run a review, I know why he did it, he didn't want to put out a, a negative review. And there is a video on, I, I have no problem seeing, knowing this because again, uh, I, I appreciate solid feedback because it, you know, I, it made me aware that I had to buy more hardware and I had to do more public testing before I released this. Uh, so it was it was good. It was a shot in the, a shot in the arm for that because I, I realised that you know I've actually got to do more testing. You know, um, and so that's they've been absolutely wonderful. Now Richard put me onto a company where, who specialise in panels. Um, I'm looking for something that's lightning fast with great quality. It will cost a packet. Yeah. So there may well be there's an option for a, a modern panel with very low latency and have all the things that you may want if, 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 you, if you're looking for that side of it. Some of the games I've spoken to have said, uh, said 18 millisecond latency is not a problem because it's just, you just get used to it. And, and as I said, I, hadn't, I, I couldn't even notice it personally, but I've not got them senses. Um, but anyway, uh, let's, um, let's leave it there. Uh, I, I wanted to, to, to be now uh, I'm doing a live stream mm, tomorrow evening um, I've missed it as I said for a couple of weeks um, feel free to join in um, I'll, there'll be a link on, on the, the Facebook groups um, but now what I'm going to do hand over and I'm going to put this on so you can watch the um, uh, my, my Dreamcast in composite remember between the three 
um, and see what you think. Uh, and then if, if, if you think, well, it's not bad, then by all means come along and have a look personally. Because that's the only way you can do this. See it in the flesh. Uh, see what you think and see if you can see what we're trying to achieve here. Uh, because unfortunately the, the thing has been here, the huge flexibility that I've made into this system has actually turned into a huge complexity. Um, and that's the, one of the things that um, I'm looking to try and improve on. Uh, from, the mar from the marketing, you know, the education side, it, it, there, is, it, it, there is so much you could do with this. You could put a computer in it, you know, you could put so much there to do. Um, I think has made it, I'm not saying it's too complex for Neil, but I think it's for other people, it was, uh, I, th I think it's, some people are going to get a little bit uh, overwhelmed by the, by it. So, uh, hence the uh, trying to clean up the messaging. I think that's the key thing. So sort out the messaging before I launch a Kickstarter. Sort out these firmware issues with the scaling, because the scaling is an issue on the, on the controller. Um, but apart from that, I'm, I'm still confident in the product, um, and, I, and I'm going to push it through to the Kickstarter uh, as soon as I think it's now ready. And I'm just literally going to launch the Kickstarter and we'll, we'll, go, we'll go from there. Uh, but hopefully you'll get a chance to come along, have a look and see what you think. Anyway, thanks for taking the time if you got this far. I can't believe I've talked this much. But I, I always want to explain my thinking. Um, but uh, there you go. All right, thanks very much. Hope to see you in the next couple of weeks.
We'll just have a quick look at the game. Select a memory card. Select a file. Select a character.
<laughs> I'm watching on it, see the end of the game, but <laughs> yeah, I'm rubbish. I was trying to get it to go around because there's a, there's a there's a bit later on where there's this big uh, killer whale chases after you. I was trying to get to that bit, and I couldn't remember how you get back up again. <laughs> Bloody rubbish at games. This is probably why I get ripped to pieces when it comes to CRTs. <laughs> oh dear. Right, well look, um, yeah, uh, just a question there about Ultimate. Yeah, this is running 1280 by 1024. I mean, it does look stunning. Uh, and I and I run the Amiga with my, um, I've got a 1200 plugged into it. I've got a 1000, I've got a super chip. I need more coffee and Amigas. Um, but yeah, the um, it does look really good. Um, right, so uh, no one's asking any questions, I guess, because most people haven't seen this. Um, that kind of makes sense. Um, but I think the key thing you've got to look at is this: that um, the key thing about this product is the oh, for one thing, the look. Right? Let's not put let's not put beating around the bush. Um, look, It's what I wanted. <laughs> I wanted this, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, now this is not a finished design, but this is kind of getting there, and you know, and all the panels in the back, and you know that, that people. Have, the trouble is, what's happened is with this back, that that back shot has thrown people because some people are. Kind of, I'm sure they're looking at it going, "Wow, look at all that input." Well, th these are options. <laughs> it's not coming with everything. That first panel at the bottom, that's particularly what you're going to get if you go with my choice of panel. Um, the rest of it is like, that's the retro tink, and then up there, that's the GVS uh, board with Byron's system, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, and so, uh, yeah, I mean, and I really like that one. That one's got my mister in it. So there's, there's a potential here for like an all-in-one computer. Um, but what I think... The reason I say that I made the mistake was because I didn't concentrate on the key points of this, which was the expandability, the design, the look of it, the whole. Yeah, let's turn that. <laughs> the whole, the feel of it, the putting it, but it's not. It's not a big box. For the sake of it, I don't do things like that. So it's it's everything has its form and function. It sounds poncy, but it's true. So you've got I've got a lot of space. Bloody great big speakers in there. Um, these speakers are really good and really bloody loud, and they have a, a reasonable bass. I'm not going to get overly about it, but they are. If you turn the bass full on and you turn the volume, which I did at the show, I mean it's really loud. <laughs> Someone uh, in the comments made a point about it. Uh, the the main stage at the front, they had these bloody great big speakers, and they were pumping it. When it wasn't people talking, they were just generally. I turned it up and it was drowning them out. Well, it seemed like it was drowning them out to me. So uh, the speakers <laughs> are really good. I like the speakers. Um, but again, you know, it's it's. So it's about the case, it's about the package. It's not about the panels a side issue. I mean, it, the the input is, is important because to me it was about, if you're not putting like a mister in it or a pie in it and if it is an all-in-one, then having all this input potential um, is a big deal. You don't get that elsewhere. Now, you know, we've kind of worked on the way of doing it so it's economical to do. Now, um, because I obviously met, I haven't met Byron yet, but good, because I've kind of virtually met up with Byron, we've been able to do this thing I wanted to do with the SCAR and the component. We're using the GBS 8200, which most people, for re good reasons, scoffed at. But since it had this GBS control firmware written for it, um, it's crazy. It's, it's actually really good. So you add that into the mix. Um, but it has thrown up problems. Uh, problems like, for example, you need a web browser to log into it. Once you set it up, it's pretty good. You know, if you keep changing systems, you have to keep adjusting. But you set profiles. 
and so it hence me saying the complexity so um, I, I think what's happened is that the message has been kind of not hijacked is the wrong word but people have zeroed into something and I'm not talking about Neil here I'm not talking about Neil but people have zeroed in on something and and then oh well that's, that's my, my CRT is better but again it's not a CRT replacement anyway so um, I just haven't looked at the back of this yeah so it's about the Kickstarter is about let's call it a platform right it's launching the platform you ain't gonna get this probably not gonna get this elsewhere because most people don't give a toss about retro they haven't understood how big it's getting I'm sure later on that companies will come in but they don't tend to make TVs now they kind of remove imports of the little they don't can't get some more TVs we will plug in ports and even if they do they're pretty rubbish so try to make something that's expandable so the retro tint can go in it I mean, it's a lovely little board right it, it just plugs into the back i've got a little adapter you've probably seen this plugs in connects to hdmi is it perfect no it's far from it um but most people who've seen this in the flesh like the design now i will say when i went to see neil i swear neil and richard want it to look like a 1084 so I'm not trying to make I, I said well there, here's another thing right because I've been calling it 1087 and 1089 right so you think well, it should look like it but actually that's only because I love my 1084 that's the only reason that I put that hump on the back yeah and I put that hump on the back because I love my 1084 yeah but I've also put that bloody handle on it you know it's got this handle on it and I really like it um but I don't think Neil, why well, Neil plugged a couple of it, couple of um, he plugged his six hundred in. Let's be clear, he plugged his six hundred in it. He said the the composite wasn't very good. Now, to be honest, I've got a six hundred in the loft and it's being recapped and everything. But the composite on that is not as good as the twelve hundred. So garbage in, garbage out. Um, that's that. That's that. But he also plugged in what he said was uh, I believe it was. Um, uh, Mega C and Amstrad. I think he said an Amstrad Mega CD, or it might have been a Mega CD. I could be wrong. I thought he said an Amstrad Mega C Mega CD. Now, this at the moment does not support CGA and EGA. It doesn't right? It doesn't support that. We're working on it. Okay. Um, and one of the <laughs> I bought one of these. <laughs> right. I've got someone working on a converter for me, but I. I bought one of these because it's got a CGA output. 35 quid. And they said, yeah, the floppy disks don't work. Um, um, but, you know, uh, and it's a bit yellow than the keyboard. But uh, the floppy disks don't work. So when I got it back, so I picked it, I, I won it for 35 quid on eBay. And um, I got it back and I swapped the floppy disks over. One floppy disk was knackered, swapped it over, and the other one was fine. Then I found one up in the loft. Happy days. <laughs> but we're going to get that working with the GPS so you'll be able to plug that in now that's um, that's Appy I don't know what he did tell me what his real name was um, but he's working on um, a board for me that for basically so you can plug a Commodore 128 into it and get both modes both outputs yeah well that'd be really good because also it means it then supports CGA I think EGA okay so that's gonna be pretty interesting um, as for the SCART, um, I've had no problems with it. <laughs> now I plugged. This is one of those things. With there's so. This is why I want to. I want to separate the case and the platform from what you put in it, because we're getting bogged down in. Um, the minute uh, minutiae is important, but we're getting bogged down in it. And so I've got these people like like Byron, who I know is watching. I got Byron, he's done this fantastic little board. We want the final version, and it is really good. This little adapter board where it allows you to put the. Oh, I've got it. It's in the loft, but it allows you to put what, oh that's out of focus in it. One of these little things in it, and it's got a scar connector in the back, and you connect that into the GBS one thousand eighty two hundred. 
Um, and it gives a fair, it's, it gives a really good result, and it's, it's it's inexpensive, which means I can put it. I could do it as an add-on, pretty cheap. And that's kind of going to help make up for the fact that the main thing is going to be not cheap. So and now another reason for separating. Excuse me, I haven't announced the price of this thing, mainly because I know it's expensive. But but people are just going, oh, it's a monitor. I'm not, I'm not telling you. I'm not telling anyone at the moment because I want people to understand. So there's an awful lot of cost because this will not be large volume. And I'll tell you now, it's ninety thousand at the moment. Ninety thousand dollars tooling costs to make this. I'll let you do some maths. You know. So it's not an inexpensive thing just to make the case. So that's why there's. Um, that's why I put in everything you did to, so people understand that what you're backing is the platform. The case it's a 4 3 slash 5 4 aspect ratio, and you can either have us put a panel in or you could put your own. Now, say for example, you wanted to make you wanted to sell these after the Kickstarter. After the Kickstarter, um, once the tooling is paid for, then obviously my, my production cost is a lot lower, so I can I will make more money, right? Which means I can sell to people maybe who want to assemble these units themselves and build them and sell them to people uh, potentially but they are shipping to the issue um, but yeah so it's it's going to be about the platform not the panels and the panels are really important that's why I picked what I believe was a really good panel it just so happened it's got I don't think it's bad 17.8 milliseconds of lag I didn't even notice it until I did that test and you could see it come up later, but when you're playing, I press the button, it jumps. I can't perceive that distance. And, and I spoke to a few gamers at the gamer show and they said to me, well, you know, you, you work with the lag you've got. Now, my TV downstairs, 65 milliseconds sucks. You can't play on that. But, it, you know, I think that this is kind of, it falls in that category, we just get used to it. And you understand it. I mean, I, when I'm playing pinball with Alfie, we don't even notice it. We literally don't notice it, and we're playing with the mister, straight onto it, hit the buttons, straight straight away. Do it downstairs, it's terrible. Um, so, uh, you know, it's one of the things, but let's just swap the panel out. You know, um, and as I said, I'm looking at another panel at the moment. There's one in, um, uh, there's one in China. It's, I'll tell you what, let's just show you, because this is the thing, I gave the people the link right I'm just gonna teach you here you go here's the site I use it's, it's called panellook.com okay and let me see if I can zoom in a bit and this is basically the panels you can buy so people say oh well, I want no I want 1% lag you can't buy them right uh, I'll give you an example. If I pull, is that coming up here? Right. I have actually since I did a search, right? I did a search, and I searched for gaming panels, nineteen or seventeen inches. It had to be that, and four free. You know, tw sorry, twelve eighty by ten twenty four. This is the only one, and as you can see, it's got a three point six. To 1.4 response time okay so it's gonna be say five percent so five percent I'm guessing around five milliseconds of lag the reason I say that is my panel is 14 milliseconds which is a lot slower than that um, and I've got a 17 point so I, I'm kind of saying that's probably about five milliseconds of lag however crucially if you look at this figure here yeah that is really important because mine the other one is 89, 89, 89, 89. If you don't know what that means, you need to look it up. But basically, it's the angle that you can see the bloody thing. And it, that's the whole point with IPS. You can go right around the edge, and as soon as you just come round 89 degrees, you can read it. Yeah? That's IPS. But you can't... You, you That's the... For me, that was the quality issue. So you can see it all around. It's bright. Now, this technically is actually 350... Brightness, whereas my panel's only 250. 
So this might actually be a good one. It depends on what the angles are like, because as I said, mine was 89 right across the bow. But th does that really matter? You know, if you, you know, 85 is probably not too bad. So it's all about the pixel quality. It's all about the bright. It's every. It's a whole. It's a. What does it look like? So um, I'm I'm tr I'm working on getting one of these now. The other thing I mentioned in the, the video was I'm actually going to go and see a company in the UK specialised in industrial panels. And this is someone, Richard, uh, who's uh, from Heber. I went to see. He, he put me, uh, gave me these guys' details. And now I'm going to go and see them. We're going to get discuss potential. Now, don't get excited if I what I'm about to say. It's really important. Don't tell everyone I'm going to. But I'm going to go and look at potentially OLEDs, right? And see if we can do something. But then it needs a new controller. Then it needs all this other stuff. And you could end up an extra five, six hundred pounds for a very low latency OLED panel that goes in the platform. So it's options. Um, I do want this. I think. I think I'm going to call it a platform because it really is. You know, you can put what you like in it, and if you break the panel, you just swap it out, put a new one in. Yeah, just flip it. As long as your controller supports it. You just plop, plop them in. So that's the, it's getting that message across. Because up until now, I've been thinking of it as a, as a single product, a 19 inch or 17 inch. Give me, I always look at it over here. Um, I look at it as a 19 inch or 17 inch panel as a product and no real options. And I think that's been the, because so many people, people want different things, but different people want different things. Um, so uh, yeah, uh, um, but what we're aiming for, what I'm aiming for, let me get this up. What I'm aiming for is for people to be able to build a machine that they like the look of, as you can see. You know, now I'm going to be doing lots of these features. Yeah, so you got, so now, now I'm cheating here, right? More or less everything you see is actually, that is my Mr. Machine, I'll, you know, disclaimer. <laughs> but it just looked good, okay. It was easy to setting up the um, setting up, and, I, and 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 another disclosure. At the moment, this needs tweaking to work on the the VGA, okay. It work it works okay in certain connections and not others. So, just so you know, that's why it's easier just to do this. And that's where it comes to doing a chart: what works, what doesn't work, etc., etc. Maybe switch to another panel if this is important to you. Um, what else? So lots of pretty shots. It's all about really what the and again the screws and the speakers. It's a prototype. Like so most people come up joke them screws are horrible, Steve. Hurry up and get rid of them. That's the kind of comment I want. Yeah, I know, I know. But it's I'm testing these these um, three inch speakers. Uh, and again, that, that's oh here you go. I got a Windows machine. Oh, I got a Windows box there. It's not in there. It's in the monitor. <laughs> So the idea is to see, does this look nice on these old computers, you know? That's all I wanted to do. Right, let me have a look, see if we've got any, uh, there you go. Let me have, let's have some questions. Uh, right, scroll down, right, what we got here? <coughs> uh, yeah, Ryan, yeah, I, I, the handles, do you know what? I didn't think that would work. I thought I'd put it in there just as a prototype and see what it is. brilliant. <laughs> it's, the handle is brilliant. Look, I trust it that much. I trust it, you know? And if you hold it from the front. Yeah, the handle's absolutely brilliant. Uh, uh, the versatility, yeah. If you add them, if you add them, obviously, don't forget some of the top two bit, top two bays are add-ons. But for example, the um, my gut feeling is the GBS controller and the GBS board and that whole package about forty quid, forty pounds, thirty-five, forty pounds for that. Um, because the, all the components actually quite. I'm just waiting for the final prices on the board, but it's not expensive, you know. And that's 
you know, you have to probably go and look at Retro RGB's review of it because it's it's pretty it's a pretty good device. Now, yes, I know I'm adding seventeen point eight milliseconds of lag, but if I if the other panel is good enough that I'm happy to sell, that's got five milliseconds, probably go up to seven or eight or nine or something like that. But it will halve that. No, I don't think you're even going to notice that. Uh, um, yeah, Starish, you're right. I mean, look, it is. I mean, the, the looks are, the looks are no good without function. I know that. You know, this is why. I mean, I've actually made it deeper than it was originally. I've gone an extra inch deeper. Don't make a joke about that. It always counts. <laughs> because I wanted to be able to put bigger, fatter boards in. I mean, I've, I've got, literally, I've got one of these in that one over there. You literally just take it apart. And you have, I, well, on that version, I've just replaced with smaller bottom uh, standoffs. Um, but you could, I mean, I can adapt it. It's just I happen to have short ones. But I could modify it so you just drop that. You just literally take the case off and screw it in, and away you go. Um, and that's absolutely fantastic. Or you, as I said before, and you've probably all seen this, but there's a Raspberry Pi four, and this one's actually quite nice. And it uses one bay, which is a compute module. Yeah, and just goes in the HDMI. Um, and then, of course, there's the other thing you could you could always. I mean, I took mine out, fun enough. You, you can put no SSC in it. Um, we're looking into a potentially a custom version. Um, but yeah, so it's uh, versatility is what I'm aiming for. Hence, I think platform. It's a platform. But add what kind of panel you want. You know, when you buy a monitor, you're choosing the panel, aren't you? Whereas it seems that I've back myself into a corner saying there's only one kind of panel no there's not there's not I, I, you know I, I, I'm, I've done a pr pretty piss poor job because I've kind of in my head well yucks because I've always said I'm not releasing what the panel specification because I haven't decided on it yet uh, but people have just kind of gone oh that's no good oh, okay right uh, what else Yeah, hi Byron. Um, I think it might have been a mega mega PC, uh, um, but without getting the email out, I, I, I can't. It might. Have, I I think it might have been because, and if that's the case, I, I'm not surprised it didn't work. Uh, but that that's on me, you know. Um, I should have specified try on this, this, and this, and this, but I didn't. I he's got my my plan was here's the monitors, break it. Uh, I didn't communicate that obviously well enough, so, um, but that's mine. Now let's turn the camera on and off again, you know the score. Um, well, EGA and, EGA and CJ is coming. So trust me, I can show you a picture. It's already done. <laughs> uh, let me, um, I will load that so you can see it. No. Um. Is this it? Yeah, I think this is it. There you go. Um, this is from Appy Paul. I, 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 is it, it must be Paul, actually. I assume it's Appy Paul. So basically what this is, he, he I sent him this 3D printed thing and he's basically, you can put um, a Commodore 128 and it will take both connectors. So you can do the 40 column and the um, 80 column mode and switch between them. So, uh, and that then plugs into the GBS 8200. You see, uh, because these GBSs are like a 10 or each, they're nothing. Um, and so you'll get CGA, you'll get EGA. Now um, he's he he's sending me a board off very soon, so that's another option. You see, that's coming. Um, I don't want this thing being shot down in flames, you know, um, because uh, you know, 
I want it to survive. Now, this is why I really appreciate Neil, because he releases to his patrons. I totally understand, because he was asking them for questions to ask. And then he, can, he had to can the review. But he's kept it to himself, and apart from patrons. And yes, they're, they're entitled to talk about it. Um, but they he didn't tell them the reasons why. Um, and this is why I want people to see the product. You know what I mean? And I'm, and I'm, and I'm, it's been a good thing because it's kind of made me reset, rethink, re plan. Um, it does mean, obviously, rather than me at the moment almost saying anything will run in it, right? The problem with that is that some of the things you want to run in it, with like the GPS, is there's a there's a fair bit of complexity. You've got to get your tablet or your phone or your computer to log into the web server on the thing and then tweak it. The tweaking's not difficult. Logging into the web server's fun. Um, but it works, and it works fantastic. And then when you save the profile, it remembers it each time, so you're done after that. But you're expecting people to to do that, to adjust it, and I get that, I totally get it. Um, so that's that's been the problem. So if I'm gonna promote this now as a platform, and then you could put these bits in it, but it's designed with this expandability, but some parts are not easy. Now you put a retro tink in it, you plug it in, it works. Switch over to it, it works. That's what I did with my Atari 800. I've got a tink in there, plug Super HS in it, bang, works. Fantastic. Put the Commodore 64 in it. Bang, works. 80 quid. My kit will be about 25 quid. You know, so it's a good deal. Um, but you wouldn't want to put a Retro Tink 5X in it. That's a stupid idea. For 300 pounds, put in one monitor. No, no, you wouldn't do that. Um, right, okay. Uh, Ryan, does SCART support 60 hertz here in the US? Yes, it does, and it also highlighted a problem. Because my when you watch that video, I've got, <laughs> for my Dreamcast, I've got the composite output, I've got the VJ output, and I've got the SCART. And when you put the SCART and the composite, it boots up and says, do you want 50, 50 hertz or 60 hertz? Now, the panel will support both. No problem whatsoever. The trouble is the controller, and I don't know why, it makes no sense, stretches it. So it look, what you saw earlier looked right. It's the same aspect ratio, but as soon as it went into 60 hertz, it went like that. It was like, what? So I don't know why. And that's the thing we, I, I'm explaining to them, and it might be why I transferred to another controller. But I'm hoping they'll fix it. And this is one of the things I was hoping to do, like, in the background and sort it out. But I might not have noticed that. So this is why it's been good. I've been buying lots of kit, and it's another reason why I'm going to go and visit it, show people this stuff. Um because then they can see it and then I can find problems and we can have a massive chart with video samples of what it's going to look like because i got a lot of kit but I ain't got everything you know Scott's an amazing connector it's the king standards death animal input lag versus panel lag Plus, most panel makers calculate latency with gray to gray. Yeah, my tester goes black to white, I think. Uh, but look, you know, I bought the tester because I don't. It's an HDMI one, so it just generates an HDMI signal, put it in, and all it's doing to me is it's saying, in an ideal situation, how fast will the data get from the, the generator to the pack to be able to see it? And it was 17 point, which I don't think was horrendous. Uh, as I said, my TV 65, which is horrendous. Um, but that that panel there is 1.7 milliseconds <laughs> I paid 110 pounds but you can't get a 4354 panel like that you just can't get them that's why I gave it the site get have a look fill your boots if you know one that I can get a reasonable price I'm all ears is there such a thing as a 4354 OLED panel no not that I, well, no, not that I know of. No, but, as I said, I'm going to go and see someone this week. Or it might be next week. Um, they make, they, they work with a company that will custom build panels, including OLEDs. And so we're going to discuss the potential of having a retro OLED panel with a custom controller and everything. And it, in, and if it, 
it might end up a thousand pounds. I don't know. I've got no idea. Really expensive. Look at your TVs. Look at the price of a small OLED TV, so 32 inch TV. That's how much a panel's going to be. That's just that's the way of looking at it. Um, and it might be more than that. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. But I am, trust me, I'm looking. That's why I'm backing off the panel bit now. That's why I'm backing away from saying I'm supplying a panel. I'm supplying a, a, a platform that you can put a panel in and expand it. That's, that's what I'm doing now. I mean, that's what I was doing before, to be honest. But the message was not clear and I wasn't, I was trying to make it easy for people. Here's a simple thing, you can plug this and plug this. It didn't work. It just the message didn't work. Um, yeah, OLED, OLED, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pricey, you have no idea. But I will let you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm expecting it'll be 500 quid just for the panel and the controller. Um, I, I don't want to mention, I, I know that someone else has gone to get a quote. <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> uh, This is an easy one. Uh, hi, Paul. Um, Waito, I hope I pronounced that right. Forgive me if I haven't. Waito, um, do the cases come in black as well? Yes. Absolutely. I've not made a prototype. The reason I've not made a prototype is because they're buggers to see in the dark. There's my case in point. My Can you see my 1500 plus there? Can you see it? No, seriously. Oh, it's right there, look. Can you see it? <laughs> so whenever you do any PR photographs, you can't see the bloody things. So I just tend to make the white one. Oh my God. It didn't occur to me until now, but I wonder if the USB 4C would make a good expansion pot. <laughs> no, go away. <laughs> Complexity is. Neil did do a Patreon only video broadcast broadly talking about why he wasn't released a video. Yes, he didn't really get in much detail. No, he, he didn't. He, he's, as I said, look, he's a classy guy. He's a nice bloke. And he, he didn't want to be, be negative because it was a prototype. And he, he didn't want to. His experience would have been negative. Let's be honest. His experience would have been negative. It shocked me, but it, 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 he didn't want to put that out. And I know it was he. That was his video for the week, so I messed his week's video up. But he just took it on the chin. That's why I love the guy. So no, it's it's all good. Uh, will you include beige cables as well? <laughs> I, um, I mean, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, probably not if it becomes a success that we can do that maybe later on I mean um, I get you know power pack's going to be black with black cables in a white in a, in a, in a you know beige monitor um, it's just too expensive because you have to to do something like that you have to cables are not so bad actually it's the power, power packs because it will be have an external power pack um, and it's going to be really expensive um can I use it like a one modded solution to my 42 retro computer collection, including the silicon graphics? Oh, I don't bloody know. Um, look, it's got, it's gonna, this is the plan, right? Now, bearing in mind, this is if you've got expansion in it, not standard. Composite, component, VGA, HDMI, SCAR, Uh, CGA, EGA, uh, S video, um, all these standards. Silicon graphics, comp <laughs> I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Um, oh, LVDS, maybe. <laughs> it might, I don't know, it might be. I'm, look, I'm sure that the mo there are adapters you can get to adapt the silicon graphics display to a modern monitor um, so I would think you can connect it but um, in that case then do you want a blue one <laughs> right what's the bloody hell it's 20 at 10 
The idea of putting your own panel into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, look, it, it's... it's um, um, my, oh, damn, I forgot to bring it down. The plastics I can't change, all right? But the key part of this project is inside there's a big metal chassis, which everything bolts onto. And if you've got a 19 inch, you screw it into the side. So I can put different, lots of holes, slots, so you can fix your panel if you've got a 19. If you've got a 17, there's a little adapter, there's a screws in the thing, so you can put little adapter plates to screw them on to mount that. So anything between, theoretically, 15 and 19, you could fit. It would there'd be a bit of work involved, but the, theoretically, any panel can go into it. The only concern might be the depth, the thickness of the panel. Um, that might be the only concern. You may have to, we may have to make some kind of mask if it's a bit thin or f I don't know. That's something we've got to look to because I'm looking at the option of people being able to replace the panel. So again, we get to do it, set it for a thick panel, or so it's adjustable so you can move the panels in. The idea is so you can put panels in it as a set of platform. I'd always planned to do this. Um, but it was, you know, it's just, um, people are quite rightly judging it on the panels I supplied. Uh, or, oh, well, I'm not supplied anything yet, but, you know, I've shown. Um, but as I said, when I went to the OLL, OLL people loved it. Um, that's why I was shocked when uh, Neil, I think I think some of it, Neil was disappointed because he didn't like 1084. Um, but Richard came up with an idea. And my, my first impression was, it's the dumbest idea I've ever heard, which was to use a 16.9 panel, because you can get them easy. And then I flipped to being, actually, oh, I get what you mean now, that's not a bad idea. And then I came back and did some measurements, and I thought, well, that's the dumbest idea in the world. And now I revolt back again. Actually, you know what? If you get the right panel and it would mean a three inch all the way around bezel, that looked retro. Um, so then I looked and it's really, you can't get a gaming panel. <laughs> it has to be 19 inch, about 18 and a half, 19 inch across, which make like an equivalent of a 15 inch, but it would fit in the width. I'm not expanding the size of the monitor. And you can't get a gaming one that size, so. So, um, yeah, it's the joys of this project. Go and have a look on that, panellook.com, and have a play, because it'll give you sleepless nights. You are serious. I mean, that's it, and that's the thing I haven't communicated. I mean, it's always been my thought, but I kind of tried to pitch it as a complete product. And the weak, the, the, the weak link was just one of those bits I put in it, which was not the platform, it was the panel and the controller, because I know that uh, Richard and Neil, when they saw the controller, when they saw the remote controller, they went, oh God, he's got one from Alibaba, isn't he? Well, actually, I didn't get it from Alibaba. Well, actually, I did, I found it. I found the company that manufactured it on there because they... They make millions of these things, and the idea was to use equipment that's economical, does everything I want, and it was the only one I could find that would do good quality composite and they do component and all that stuff. You know, two com. It was, it was as an AV board, so basically it had normal HDMI VGA, but it also had audio visual inputs and output. So it was actually really good, and that's why I liked it when I got it. I tested, it, and I still like it. Really do. Um, I know that Richard didn't like the fact it's got USB port. I love the USB port. For one thing, it powers my mini. <laughs> I'll plug it in, power it. Annoyingly, it hasn't got four free. Um, but yeah, so, um, you know, but again, um, controllers, are, controllers are just a controller. It's like, as, you, as you said, it's a, it's a case. You put pit, bits in it. You can trust me and buy what I suggest. Um, and I'll put them in and build it for you and ship it out. And if you want something special, um, you're willing to pay literally 
one of your kidneys, then possibly an OLED. Um, but you know, it's it's uh, it, it's something. That's why I pause because I need to rethink and um, get the message straight. Um, that's what I was saying. That it was like I'm thinking of it as a case. I, I well, I've always thought that way. It's like what is a case, and you I'll put bits in for people. I'll make it easy, and I'll just put the bits that are really nice. Um, but then one particular specification, you get specification chasers. You know what I mean? Um, and they don't look, don't, don't care about the quality. They just want to know what's the what's the specification, what what's the latency. Well, that's hence getting the latency, so I can you know park them to one side. But if I can if I can please them as well, then uh, and give the, the quality I want, then then I'm I'm happy. Uh, um, but Again, you know, people could do that. Like. But you can always buy that one there. 120 pounds, 1.7 milliseconds. Awesome. You've got those big black borders down the side, but bloody weight panel. Uh, if I can use three of your monitors to link on my collection, I want them. Well, we'll hope so. <laughs> yeah, be good. Right, um, it's coming up to 10 to. 33 people watching. Um, uh, I'm going to call it a day. Just, let's, have we got any more pictures here? Yeah, what else have I got here? I've got some more here. Um, oh, there are. 1,200. People said about the colour. It's not a bad match. That's oyster white. I think it looks really nice on the 1,200 really does look good even in I wouldn't say it's a perfect match but it's not far off of it no you're right you're right and it's taken me to be honest um, whilst it is not a criticism of Neil it did knock me back but I'm glad it happened um, because it's made me rethink it and and I mean literally just to think about what the product is this as I said it's a platform you you build what you want the key thing is have I got the look right do you like the look of it do you like the expandability of it if you like that then the panels are not, not irrelevant but you can put you can choose your own panels you know uh, I'm not saying you can do this but theoretically you go and buy one and rip it apart and put it in don't think that's going to be easy for a minute but um, it might be that other people want a different panel and see I'll give you an example but I've, I've got no problem saying this the panels I'm using are hundred dollars okay it's a hundred dollars for the panel and it's a quality one it's not a fifty or sixty dollar panel so it's a hundred dollar one that's if you buy a lot of them the controller um, the controller board uh, with the remote control and all the cables I need and all the connectors put on for the internal connectors is $30. So the panel and the, the thing is $130. And people think I should be selling the monitor for $100 and then they'll buy it, oh, they'll forget the leg. What the f... What are they smoking? You know? So, um, yeah, so uh, but, uh, we can do cheap panels, but I, uh, I don't want to be involved. I, I, don't, I don't want, you know, people build my... my systems into my cases and they the, I mean it's one thing I've loved watching is is it people build build the machines and they love my cases and they build their machines and they really like the machines when they finish and I want it to be the same with the monitor I want people to build the monitor that they really want and it and it does and it, and, it, and it pleases them so hence me trying to get it right uh, yeah no you're right it is easy I, I I think if it, I think that, that Neil's was a wake up call, and it it was more of a poking and poking the eyes. You know, you know, and I, well, I was trying to pick a panel that pleased everyone. I can't please everyone, but when the people saw it at the show, they loved it. And if and my opinion is this: if they trust me and they want that and they know the specs I'm giving, and when they see the panel, you see it, up, you actually see it in the flesh. You'll forgive it that 17.8 milliseconds. You really will. 
<laughs> and that's why I'm doing these things. So if you're coming to Greenford or if you're coming to Swag, come along, say hello. Um, and have a look and then bring some kit. And if you bring some kit and it don't work, don't, don't, don't worry about it. It just means it might be a case of this panel's not for you. Or it might be, damn, I'll buy one and we'll fix it. But I'm, you know, I'll be, I'll be open and honest with everyone. That's why I bought a lot of kit. It's a bloody good excuse. I wouldn't normally buy one of these. <laughs> and it's been, it's been, um, <laughs> what a, hang on, let's put this full screen. What a great excuse. I mean, I'll be telling the wife. I'll be, <laughs> oh no, I need it, I need it for testing. <laughs> But you know what? It's, it's actually really nice. I mean, the keyboard's a bit yellow, but it works. Oh, and guess what? It works on batteries. <laughs> it lasts about 50 minutes. <laughs> but it, it actually, can you see that? Can you hear it? It actually works on batteries. There's no ma there's no mains in that, let's see. It's got 10 C3 batteries. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, last lot. You see lot. <laughs> I don't really. Can you see that? <laughs> my, <laughs> my excuse. Look, I've not got anything in the back. But look. Power plug. See? Batteries. Apparently the batteries only last about 10 minutes. Oh, no, about an hour, apparently. But, um. Let's go DIR. Hang on. That's just a really nice keyboard as well. Hang on. Hang on, let's see. <laughs> it works. <laughs> no, it's not MS DOS 4, it's 3.2. Anyway, let's turn that off and save the battery. <laughs> I need to put them. It was £11 to get a set of 10 batteries. Right, just to save the clock. Uh, no, it's not active matrix. It's twisted, st stupid shit. It's rubbish. Um, but yeah, not even year two K compliant. Date reset every time. You no, no, no. It actually works. I put in twenty twenty two, and it and it's good. But it didn't do twenty. It was asking for m um d d m m y y failed. So I just put in d d m m, and then y y y y y, and it worked. So it's got the date, 2022, works fine. <laughs> TFT, mate, yeah, maybe. Yeah, no, the Stacy portable was way better. Have you seen my... Um, I bought an Atari ST, can you believe it? I did. To test it, and I bought one of these. Oh, for God's sake. Um, what's this thing called? Um hard drive brilliant ultra satan i took it apart because i'm actually building up a little i've ordered um some shoe shelves but they're the right size to put my computers on so i can stack them and plug them all into the monitor so i can have like seven or eight computers plugged into my monitor i was just saying yeah it's fantastic can't have it i actually bought the little tiny one i might i might 3d print something I might 3D print um, a little box, a little uh, pack. It's got some holes in it actually, so it'll probably work actually. Um, I might 3D print something to put that in. It's, but it works really well. Um, really pleased with it. I don't, I'm not, I don't understand Atari, and I had problems with it because the drives didn't appear. Turns out you have to tell it, and then it remembers it, which is fine. You know? um, but uh, that was actually really nice. Is that, uh, do you know what? I'm, hang on, I'll get it. Now, what you have to remember is, I'm not a dick about it, but I'm really hardcore mega fan. And to actually <laughs> go out and buy one of these, and it is really nice, right? Really nice. I paid 150 quid for it, right? including shipping. But I, I, for that, and I'm actually really pleased. But I, I, when it got here, quality bit of kit. It feels really nice. It's really weighty. Um, I know weight's not everything, but 
It's a nice bit of kit. And I, I mean, look, the oh, I'm sorry, the operating system sucks. <laughs> it's called TOS for a reason. But the actual platform um, and then the software you can run is very impressive. I mean, it, it is literally a low-cost Mac. And, um, so I'm really impressed with it. But that's what my Amiga's for. <laughs> Don't be stupid. Um, but no, I'm actually really pleased. I bought it and I ain't selling it. Because as soon as I put a message up and I need some help on it and get it running, people are offering to buy it. Everyone wanted to buy it. STFM. It's lovely. <laughs> I really like it. Yeah. Okay. When I, I came that close to buying one back in the day, because I wanted an Amiga 1000, but they were just were so expensive. And I saw one of these at a show. And, it was, and I seriously was impressed because I think I had a, an Amstrad PCW thing and I used to do all my business and in, invoices and everything on that. Spectrum had gone a long time ago. And I used to run CPM on it. And, and it was, yeah, it was green, but it was you know, it was fine. Um, but I wanted, an, an, you know, because I love computers and I wanted something really, really good and I couldn't afford a 5000. And I, I was just about to buy one. And then the 500 came out. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> um, but no, 35 years later, I own an Atari ST. I'm chuffed with it. I must admit, I am chuffed with it. Um, I don't subscribe. To, I think it's fun, but I don't just subscribe to the um, Atari versus um, Amiga. Because it's like Spectrum versus Commodore 64. Um, you know, it was, it was all silly because you can afford it or you couldn't. Um, but no, really pleased with that. It's really cool. Um, probably spent more on it. Spent more on cables. Spent 40 quid in cables. And of all that, 90 quid. Um, there you go. Any more questions? If Atari bought Amiga, Amiga would still be alive. <laughs> Gateway was bought by Acer here in the US. Yeah, actually Acer did. I actually contacted Acer, and they 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 offloaded their all their intellectual property from the Amiga a long time ago, um, which is interesting. <laughs> I finally got a Sega thirty two. Yeah, and I, and I got a Nintendo. Well, actually, the Nintendo is an interesting one because. I used to play Nintendo in my little, my two, my, my kids now are 32 and 28, son and daughter, um, and I used to play Nintendo 64 and uh, Mario, and um, they used to love that, uh, and I've now got a three year old, and uh, I bought another Nintendo, <laughs> I'm not playing that, but he's, he started off with it okay, now he's a bit scared. He, I think his imagination's really kicking in and certain bits are scaring him. So uh, we backed off it a bit and we're gonna come back to it later. Now we're playing Lemmings and Pinball Fantasies. And he can, no, interestingly, he can play Sonic, the original game, and he can complete the first level. <laughs> Which like, I was quite amazed. I came in and he finished it. And I've saved all the little animals. How did you do that? <laughs> uh, what's that? Atari SCSI uh, Ultra Satan. Guys, look, I've got to go. I'm going to go to bed. Thank you for. Uh, thanks for. Thanks for sticking with it. Um, oh, does anyone notice my. My uh, my my seafood case, my five hundred plus case with my five hundred plus plus in it. Do you want to see it? How about that? Let's get it in shot. How about that? I've I've all I've actually got one of the. Um, the grey ones with black keycaps. So no, so I get the CD32 theme, um, which I put one in it. Um, but I, I, someone had swapped me one of the. He made and swapped one of these plus plus balls because there's no way I can make it my eyesight. And my I just, just couldn't do it. And he swapped it for a case. And I was well chuffed. 
Um, so I've got that, and I've spent a bit of time cleaning up the keyboard and putting it out in the sunshine. And so now I have this little baby here. Um, I've got a warp 560 I'm going to put in it. When I get around to it, well, I might just leave it on the wall because I've got a ceramic 68,000 in it as well. Um, yeah, that, can, yeah, that OLL was a killer on my back. Anyone saw me, I was actually laying on the floor a couple of times. I was in agony. But I'm on drugs a lot now, so. There's nothing I can do about it. It's just a dodgy disc. Um, it's, it's just got a heel, but, but anyway. Um, but thanks for the... Uh, uh, right, so I'm going to go now. I'm going to sign off. Um, thanks for taking the time to be with me today. Uh, and um, Kickstart's going to happen. Definitely, but as you as you now know, it's um, has a whole new spin to it. It's a, it's a platform now. It's um, still got to think of the right my word in it, and I've still got some redesigning to do on on the case. Uh, I'm going to make another prototype um, because I actually want to. Whereas that front panel is all one piece, I want to break that now into like a bit at the bottom, which is the control section, and then the main. Because it might be, because I'm going to have to probably do two, or two or three of them, um, and so they're, you know, to, to make this work well. Um, but um, yeah, so it's there's a bit of work to be done still. Uh, but I'm going to bring it out because I'm kind of committing. To, um, you know, I've spent a fortune on this already, um, and uh, thankfully my patrons. Actually, I haven't got my pages message I, I'm not saying it pays for everything obviously because a lot of it is comes from the cases but uh, I don't worry about buying stuff if I need something I just buy it you know because every, every month I get you know it's not a huge amount it's like $300 a month but it doesn't pay for prototyping but it does pay for all the little bits and pieces which is experimentation is my thing it's like buy stuff and I experiment I mean you know um, and that's how I that's how I that's how I do this stuff so um, but yeah thanks to my patrons and the more the merrier always a good thing and it pays for these lights <laughs> to change colour <laughs> alright okay uh, I'll see you at swag yeah I'll see you up there and I'm gonna turn this off Always, always, he's always that awkward bit, isn't it? You know, you go stop streaming, and then you oh, forgot you got to press yes, and I've always started picking my nose. <laughs> okay, speak to you later. Thanks a lot, guys. See you.